So you're thinking about moving to Fairfax, Virginia, but you want to know more about the good and the bad. Well, in today's video, we're going to discuss everything you need to know in terms of the pros and the cons of living here in Fairfax. And stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you one of my biggest pet peeves about living here. So you definitely don't want to miss that. And let's get after it right now. For our first pro, we're going to talk about the proximity to things like DC and the airport. Fairfax is nestled right in the middle of Northern Virginia, so it's a great spot for a lot of our commuters. Fairfax County is quite big, so it's gonna depend on what part you decide to live on. You know, it's a give and take. If you decide to live closer to the airport, you're gonna be further away from DC and vice versa. Otherwise, a place like Fairfax City, which is a smack dab in the middle of Fairfax County, you're gonna be right in the middle of everything. It's gonna be about a 30 minute drive to DC and about a 30 minute, 25 to 30 minute drive to the airport, but obviously if you're gonna be commuting to DC during rush hour, it's not gonna be a 30 minute drive. Just a disclaimer, it's gonna be about an hour drive. And moving on to our next con, that's gonna be traffic. Yeah, what used to be a 30 minute quick drive to places like the airport and DC has now become an hour drive plus during rush hour. Obviously this is a big relocation state for government employees and military servicemen. Now with huge companies like Amazon and Apple migrating over here, you're getting a lot of tech employees as well. So we're expecting a big growth in the next 10 to 15 years. So the traffic will probably continue to, to get worse, but it's not all bad because one of the good things that came out of the pandemic is a lot of remote work has started to pop up. So less people are having to live so close to DC and they're able to push further out west into places like Loudoun County or further south into uh, Prince William County, which I will be covering in another video, so stay tuned for that. If you're coming from places like New York, California, or Chicago, wherever it may be, the traffic here is definitely not that bad. It's still an hour commute that you'd have to do by car. And although it sounds a little bit more convenient to drive by car, I definitely recommend utilizing our public transportation, which is a huge pro that we have here in Northern Virginia. A lot of our commuters rely on our public transportation to take them to and from work, especially to DC. You know, we've got buses that run every single day all throughout Northern Virginia, and they'll transport up to 30,000 people every single day. And it's even the Metro always bringing people to and from work. Uh, commute time it's gonna be about 50 minutes to an hour you're, you are shaving a little bit of time using the metro but you're especially saving a fortune on things like gas toll roads and parking moving on to our next pro we're gonna talk about the job market as I mentioned earlier a lot of our residents are government employees big tech company employees or they own their own businesses so the job market here is strong and it has not only helped us to thrive year after year but also endure very tough economic times jobs like the government and the military are not going to be disposable they're always going to be needed which brings us on to our next con affordability you know the median home sale price here in fairfax virginia is about five hundred and sixty four thousand dollars that puts us roughly three hundred thousand dollars above the national home sale price which brings us to our next con which is old homes uh, you know fairfax isn't the newest place in the world in the 1950s when we had this big economic boom here fairfax became a pivotal landing spot for a lot of government workers that wanted to live in the suburbs and not in the middle of dc most of these homes are going to be built in the 1950s 60s or 70s so they are quite old a lot of them are well kept some residents and relocators do love the old style the old-fashioned homes because it just got it just has a little bit of a different feel to it more history it's got some some character so that's definitely going to be up to you and for our next pro this is what a lot of the residents do love about a fairfax county especially if they have kids is going to be the public school system niche.com actually rates fairfax county public schools with an a plus they've got a very good school system but obviously it's just averaged out so if you are looking into a specific area it is going to vary from place to place so definitely do some research on that now for this next one this is kind of a pro I consider it a pro, but you might consider it a con depending on where it is that you're coming from and your preferences. And that is gonna be the weather. We do get all four seasons here. Our winter and summer are very bipolar and they're at complete opposites. You know, when we have our winter, it's quite cold. It doesn't last too long. It's gonna be about mid-December to end of February. We do expect at least one snowfall every single year, but it's typically not a lot. We get big snowstorms maybe every four or five years, if even that. So it's not that bad, but if you are a big skier, we do have a lot of mountains in the proximity that you can go ski or go hang out at a, at a cabin. 
In terms of summer, the summer here gets really hot and humid. You know, Fairfax County and DC was built on swampland. So it, you can expect what it would have looked like back in the day. We get temperatures up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but you do get accustomed to it after a while. If you're more of a cold person, then that might be a big con for you. But you know, we've got the coast three hours away. So that gives everybody a great opportunity to go to the beach and, uh, and enjoy themselves there. But I should mention with the humidity that we do get here, and that does make us prone to things like floods. So if you are going to be looking for a house, I definitely recommend you check out the landscaping and make sure that it's going to be pushing the water away from your foundation and that your sump pump is functioning properly because that is very, very important. You don't want floods and mold growing into your house. And for our last con, and this is, as I mentioned, my biggest pet peeve about Fairfax County is the nightlife. There are some things to do, but if you're looking to be right in the middle of it all, it's probably not going to be the best place for you. Things like, you know, you have DC, you have Maryland, you have Arlington right in your backyard, but you are going to have to get in your car and, you know, spend 30 minutes driving out there to do something fun. But if you are a big hiker, if you love the outdoors, if you love zip lining, niche.com also gave Fairfax County the number two spot in all of Virginia for outdoor activities. So that is one huge plus about it. I do love hiking and walking in nature. So that's been a big plus for me. But if I want to go out and hang out with friends, we do have a lot of restaurants and bars in the area. But if you're looking for more nightlife activities or even sports, that's all going to be out in DC, Maryland and Arlington. If you did like this video and you found some value in it, give us a like, share it with your friends if they're thinking about moving here to Northern Virginia. You know, we'd be happy to help. Uh, if you wanna stay up to date with the current market here in Northern Virginia, subscribe and tap the bell for notification. If you wanna see us cover any other areas in Northern Virginia, let us know down in the comment section below. My name is Tim and the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move in a day, a year or any time between that, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We would be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. But until then, we hope to show you around town.